What the frick is up, homie gang? What the frick is up, YouTube? It's the homie Kenny here, back in the game with a reaction for you guys, and today I'm gonna be reacting to Why Some Birds Will Never See Heaven by Casual Geographic. Now, before I start the video, I would like to, I would like to say that thank you so, thank you, so, thank you so, guys. <laughs> Bright fart. <laughs> uh, but no, real talk though, thank you guys for supporting me. I really appreciate that shit. Really helps the channel grow. Speaking of helping, the, speaking of helping the channel grow, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you want to see more reactions like this, and if you want to see this video for yourself, the link will be in the description as well. I've seen some of his videos on TikTok, and they're really factual, and he'd be really petty about that shit because <laughs> that shit is true. And that being said, let's get into the video. This video was sponsored by World of Tanks. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. Birds, for the most part, spend their entire lives the same way they started, with zero regard or concept of morality and no deference toward the idea of a higher being. Basically, they're <laughs> bastards with wings. Animals don't typically <laughs> operate on morality because nature really doesn't care how good Damn. you are. Good karma won't keep your kids from starvation and it won't stop life from slapping you in the face with an octopus. So technically, it really wouldn't be fair to judge animals based on morality. But if we could, birds would never see the light of heaven. I don't know why, but nature insists on making sure birds survive only by inflicting pain and suffering on others, often in some of the most brutal ways possible. So because I have nothing better to do and this is my life, now here are some birds that would score <laughs> negative on the rice purity test. First, we got this paralysis demon with wings, the giant petrol. <laughs> Basically, take everything bad about seagulls, teach it the table manners of vultures, put it on steroids, and you get a penguin's worst nightmare. <laughs> More on that later. The giant petrol earned the nickname the stinker because they'll feed on any decaying, rotting carcass, no matter how putrid the festering meat is. Mm, and just like yeah. vultures, petrol prefer to violate a course by starting the soft points to the body. And normally, that means the anus. You see this overgrown graveyard pigeon in red face? It means it just got done tossing some dead elephant seal salad. The giant petrel's nauseating eating habits only make this next fact even worse. Too close to a nesting petrel, or worse, its chick, it'll projectile vomit whatever disrespect was meriting down in its trash chute of the stomach. Ew. Not only is it disgusting, the puke is so acidic that it can have the waterproof coating of feathers. But that's not why giant petrels are in this video. Now it's because of the flying bullies of the southern seas with an obsession with penguin chicks. The southern giant petrel colony and single out any chick, and then they'll proceed to snatch the chick one of the parents who aren't much of an effort in the first place. Then these flying predators will proceed to tear the defenseless chick apart and eat it alive, often while the parents can only watch. It's fucked Sometimes up. they won't even attack. All giant petrels really need to do is sit and wait for one of the chicks to panic and make a break for it. A decision that guarantees his life. Run! Damn, easy. he tried. And unlike the skew of mafia from Happy Feet, the giant petrel can have a wingspan of up to seven feet, meaning this flying abortion can be a shack law. But they don't mm. just go after penguins, and yes, I am censoring this for a reason. Giant petrels will also go after seabirds like albatross and gannet, and their favorite method of soul eviction they is by holding a bird underwater every into fucking bird, man. It's like Damn. a reverse baptism. They're aggressive, nasty, and they operate on a morality deficit, which makes them great at bullying penguins, but even better at World of Tanks. World of Tanks is a free-to-play game available on PC with over 100 million players already online. And you have a choice of over 600 different tanks, including artillery, most are f***ing broke, I'm told do I use it, I just go for violence. You can also earn experience and pimp out your tank. Download World of Tanks using the link in the description and use a promo code TANKMANIA and you'll get free 7 days access to a premium account, 250,000 credit, now. the premium tank Excelsior, and 3 rental tanks for 10 battles you know, each. What the fuck I'll play this game go. if you have something to do in the morning. Because if you're anything like me, you'll get hooked and end up playing until 3 in the a.m. Not like I get a lot of sleep anyway. Especially when I'm carrying the knowledge of the war crimes this flying antichrist commits. Because going back to penguins, giant petrels will gang up on and bully the sick and injured to the point of exhaustion. And once the tuxedo duck can no longer defend itself, these homicidal sea chickens will tear it to pieces. Because a penguin's vital organs are protected by a layer of fat, the poor bird can be laying in sheer agony for over an hour. As merciless petrels mm. tear chunks of its flesh out. And for a reason, it gets ugly. Mm. The only relief is when the penguin eventually retires from life due to loss of blood. These ice vultures will also fall for seals on the hunt for penguins just so they can have a chance at the leftovers. And again, it really doesn't matter if they're alive. Basically, giant petrels wow. are what would happen if nature messed around and gave hyenas wings. And reminder, their wingspan can be seven freaking feet long. But these flying coffins aren't the only birds with a slightly unethical meal prep. Scared of the 
Office life has changed. Should your benefits and policies? Stupid fuck. No, what you're with Survey Monkey. This Hall of Fame Intimidator is the imposing Golden Eagle. Not only is it one of the largest birds of prey, they have a pair of lethal weapons for feet in the form of snare drums designed to grip and not let go. That and the fact that this eagle is known for griefing animals heavier than they are is why this apex assault weapon has such a high hit list of pie. Uh -huh. As tough as they are, they do have a weakness. Like all birds, golden eagles have hollow bones, and a fraction of one of those bones, especially in the wings, is basically a death sentence. Mm. Which is why attacking animals fight back like, say, a goat could be bad for their health. Speaking of goats, that unnatural climbing ability helps them scale to heights where most predators aren't an issue. This isn't photoshopped. They're really like that. But of course, yeah. this murder Tweety isn't most predators. Apparently, nature gave golden eagles an understanding of physics because they'll attempt to latch onto the goat and off a cliff to its death. And goats aren't pushovers. They can still critically injure the eagle on the way down, but golden eagles are strong enough to carry the goat and air it straight to the afterlife. It's not just murder. Meditated as brutal. As it is it's way more efficient than chasing and wrestling a goat into submission when you could just let the goat get clapped by gravity. Chasing a goat ain't easy. Just ask this guy. Also, deer and goats <laughs> are the only <laughs> You funny. Golden eagles will also carry a tortoise <laughs> and air drop it from hundreds of feet until the shell shatters. If the tortoise survives the first time, it's no big deal. The eagle will just pick it up and try again. Because it's not the shell jockey's going anywhere. Not only is it a bad time for a tortoise, it's... Yeah, sorry about this, guys. I gotta pause the video a little bit. I'm get my cat out of the fucking basement he's been acting like a badass all day now he wants to get out here uh, excuse me for a second come on right in the middle of my fucking video Sorry about that, everybody. Hope you got a good glimpse of my fucking dining room back there. <sighs> also might have ended a person. Because famous Greek playwright allegedly turned into a Sunday prayer after a golden eagle air a tortoise addressed right to the back of his head. Damn. Even if he wasn't a target, it's still manslaughter. And Damn. another body on this felony Tweety's rap sheet. And you can go ahead and add a welfare fraud charge because this bird might legitimately be one of the worst mothers out there. It all starts when a mother commonly cuckoo lays her egg nest. Typical bird behavior. Mm -hmm. Except that's not her nest. The mother cuckoo will lay her egg in the Wait, nest what? of another bird like a reed warbler and then cover her tracks by stealing and destroying one of the originals. This warbler ends up incubating middle. Because of what I can only describe as malicious design, the cuckoo egg will hatch days before the rest of the clutch does. Because even though the cuckoo chick is blind, featherless, and only a day old, it's somehow strong. <sighs> Again, sorry about this, guys. Cat's not going to give me a second. What the fuck are you doing? Again, my apologies, everybody. My apologies. My cat's in there fucking around, catching a mouse and shit. Almost as big as itself in breakfast special on the ground. And Damn. there's a good chance he does it right in front of the foster mother. Damn. But why would the warbler take care of a chick that not only is in her blood, but actively destroyed her own? But that's easy. Gang violence. According to researchers, host parents that refused to feed the cuckoo chick ended up getting their home nest completely vandalized by the cuckoo mafia. And yes, I'm being... And if the warbler recognizes the there's a good chance the mother cuckoo will stop by and butcher the entire nursery. Mm. I still can't get over this picture. So now the poor is forced to take care of a chick. Hers was probably the one that Ted Bundy her actual Damn. children. Not to mention a cuckoo chicken grows several times larger than a host parent, meaning the mother bird literally puts her back trying to feed it. It's honestly what dick moves in nature. <laughs> trying to take care of it. Fuck. Yeah, that's where that term comes mother from. Nature is one of the most up. shameful genres out there was spawned by this bird. All this while the cuckoo sleeps at night knowing she trapped an innocent soul with a baby. It's like if Brittany Renner could fly. But what if Buffalo Bill had wings? Well, you probably 
get this demon right here. <laughs> so at this point, there's two types of people. There's those that don't know what this is, and those that are wondering when this serial killer was going to make an appearance. For the former, this is a shrike. It's a type of password bird related to blue jays and sparrows. It's also known as the butcher bird. And that is because this tiny bird has a disturbing habit of catching and murking its prey and impaling the corpse on thorns to store in its pantry. Several bodies of its victims in storage for days before they actually eat them. They'll even mm. purposely wait a few days after skewering the toxic lover grasshopper so it'll naturally degrade and become eat. There's also the fact that the shrike will typically turn its prey into past tense by grabbing the neck and violently shaking until the neck snaps. Oh, Don't let damn. this cover fool you. The pages of this demon dub story are riddled with psychopath tendencies and homicide in the very first degree. But at least shrikes normally kill their prey before they impale it. Some birds mm. choose to just swallow and let the rest work itself out. <laughs> Are yep. A pelican's diet consists of the usual fish, no surprise there, but its grocery list also includes amphibians, turtles, crustaceans, small mammals, not so small mammals, and other birds. Basically, if they think you can fit down its gullet, it's food, and you'll never guess what animal's behind it. Yeah. When it Nigga. comes to pelicans, there's two hey, yo, there's Get your ass out of there, man. <laughs> sea ducks. And then there's those that have seen the video of a pelican Patterson. swallowing a fish Bear? Ball with no? the bird visibly no, struggling as it was getting forced down its bottomless pit of a throat. When oh. under normal food source or stress, pelicans will resort to friendly firing other birds like pigeons, seagulls, penguins, and ducks. And since pelicans don't have teeth, we can assume this pigeon's oh last moments were spent suffocating at- This bird is a vor freak. Anything that is big or small, <laughs> you could just swallow the damn thing. Just like a fucking garbage bin, man. Ugh. So it's being digested by corrosive stomach acid. Not a good way to go. I don't even like pigeons, and I feel bad. But it's yeah. not- Pelican animal, and you'll probably get one either attempting to or considering attempting to eat something that they honestly have no business even making the effort to swallow. Yep. A pelican swallowing Don't defies dog. all logic on, and common bro. sense, but it won't stop this walking trash can from trying. A cat could probably open up a pelican like a Christmas present, but pelicans seem to think they exist in a vacuum with no consequences. You when you do something like this, it shouldn't be a surprise when one attempts to cardi be a human. You know, gag, choke, dang, anything back in the throat. I yeah, know yeah, we know. we know. We know. You don't need to, don't need to explain it, buddy. We know. earned a D1 scholarship to the Too pits much. of hell. And judging from the eyes, they've already been there. And if you think I'm yeah. being unfair, when I was seven, a pelican nearly gouged my eyes out and blinded me. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Them. So, of course, they could care less. <laughs> hey, you could have been children. wearing goggles like me, bro. Shit. Bully and beat the weaker sibling the past tense, usually while the parent watches in sadistic approval. And sometimes the parents will straight up Used the chick instead letting it retire to starvation. Now, to be fair, a lot of birds do the exact same thing, but I've already made it clear I have a bias. While the Cape Gannon goes out hunting for fish, this murderous feather dumpster goes hunting for chicks. <laughs> Pelicans will raid these nurseries while the parents are out to sea and devour the helpless Gannon chicks in what has to be one of the most terrifying ways to die. Imagine this being the last thing you ever see. Oh no, hell no. Better keep a switchblade on me. Morning fucking already. ads, Taco man. Taco Bell's toasted breakfast burritos will get you out of bed. In the meanwhile, eggs, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, like, share, subscribe, man. Most terrifying ways to die. Imagine this being the last thing you ever see. And just to add to it, because why stop now? Some species will resort to cannibalism by gorging children of their own species. Because when it comes to their diet, if a Pella can, a Pella will. I just can't trust a bird that's do that. related to a Jurassic reject. And yes, this dinosaur isn't a stork, it's part of the pelican family. Hey, you remember how I made you feel bad for penguins because of this freeze-dried vulture command? That was on purpose. Penguins are... And in fact, in a deli Shocker. penguin, they're honestly just formal frat boys. Just look how he's dressed. Your suit doesn't hide your sins. A deli males will mate with... Literally. A deli males have been seen fighting themselves onto injured females. Unsupervised chicks. And once again, I'm blocking this out. For your messy, it doesn't mean you should. Honestly, Thank if you, you have a pulse, Holy you're shit. tight. That wasn't even true because once a scientist tried to kill a bird, attempt to make it the ground. <laughs> to completion, by the way. In one case, a dead penguin had been frozen over in a position that I can only assume was a little too similar to the mate needed to give the ice chilled corpse the treat. Mm. One scientist decided to take it even further by placing only the frozen, disembodied head of a penguin on a rock just to see how low the male up. Low enough to forever traumatize the scientist. And guarantee that his therapist never has to touch store brain. <laughs> Once again, to completion. Penguins aren't the only things to resort to acts of the necro, but penguins insist on being really weird about it. Adelis will sleep with anything with a heartbeat, and even that's not a deal breaker. 
Like, mm. this would legitimately be considered a sext to an Adeli. Even the Emperor Penguin <laughs> isn't all that loyal. Emperor Penguins have to raise children in one of the worst area codes in the world. It's so bad that if an egg rolls onto the ground unprotected for less than a minute, the chicken inside is already gone. Which means mm. by the end of the brutal four-month winter, there's a lot of penguin parents with an empty nest. But not mm. only will to fill the void by kidnapping someone else's chick, it only takes a days or even hours for the foster parent to get bored and leave the forcefully adopted chick to die. Either by starvation or worse, by getting violated by the flying booty warrior that is the giant petrol. You see, because penguins invest so much energy into one baby, losing one can drive mothers to satisfy their maternal instincts by kidnapping. But of course, this also means that once the instant clarity, the mother they're basically a chick through sheer negligence. Mm -hmm. And there's only one good thing about this. Next really? time you see a leopard seal ordering Popeyes, you won't feel as bad. And <laughs> just like video is now over. I edit these videos all by myself. I'm not complaining, I basically chose this. Okay, but if you'd cool. like to support this channel for some reason, my Patreon's gonna be in the description. Becoming a patron... Alright, that's the end of the video. Oh my god, that was very informative, man. I did not know pelicans can do that shit. But yet, at the same time, I didn't know that they might be swallowed every damn thing. <clears throat> Shit. Birds are fucked up. Anyway. Thanks for that obvious observation. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> any fun going? We hope y'all enjoyed that video. Again, the link will be in the description. If you want to see this video for yourself, it's been out for a while. If you're new to the channel, subscribe again. It really helps the channel a lot. Spread the word. Like, share, subscribe. The bell notification bell. Uh, it's the homie Kenny signing out. Peace out, homie gang.